All right, welcome to the Joe Berg Experience. Uh, it's only a Thursday, but uh, since I'm going surfing this weekend, we thought we'd do a little family dinner early. So, uh, pulled out some baby back ribs. Uh, going a little Moroccan style, so we're using a little uh, gar masala, salt, black pepper, and that's about it. Got my uh, Kamado. We're up to about 300 so far, and I know that sounds high for smoking, but with the Kamado, you want to start it out, get your fire going good, get some heat up in up in your dome. That's why you see I have that open in the center there. So now I'm going to go ahead and push those pie pieces together and shut it down so that I, I'll end up with about a 220 smoke temp. Um, I need both hands to do that, so uh, I'll let you see it in a minute. All right, so, so you can see here, got about three hickory logs in there. Got them going pretty good. Got some heat in the dome. So we're reading about three, 325 on the dome. So now, We'll set our deflector plates centered. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna bring it. I usually do about two fingers wide here. Now, trying to do all this one-handed, it's real fun. Okay, I'm gonna flip that right over here. Yes, I know, I still got uh, flames coming up around the sides and all that. That's all right. So, close this down. And I bring that to about that line. Okay. Now, if you look at temps, about 200 or so. We're going to slow all that down at first. One thing I've learned with a Kamado is one you want it to draw see look here watch when i close this vent up top too much we don't get a good draw the smoke's going down through the bottom if i open this up see now the smoke's drawn through okay and that's what you want to do we're gonna let some of that gray smoke clear up we're gonna let the temp stabilize and uh and we'll be back all right you see the smoke's coming out a little a little more blue, not so dirty brown and gray. Um, so I think we are going to open this bad boy up. kind of go back and forth. I, I like to I like to go this presentation side um, down because I pull the membrane but if I flipped them over then all this fat will just render out and drip down at least this way it kind of sits there and I think makes the ribs a little juicier so uh we got them on we got some smoke rolling <sighs> let them go for a while about an hour or so i'll check them and rotate them so there's one on the outside might get a little bit more heat uh, from the outside of the deflector plates but we're smoking Right, still cruising about 220, 225 or so. Got a little smoke going. Let's see what it's looking like. Oh, ho, ho, ho. daddy, look at that. That's why I do them up so that all that fat can kind of soak back down. I'm gonna flip these over. Oh, yeah, okay. See how the outsides, it's because they're getting a little bit more heat here. Where, see how this one, not so much. So, 
Now they shrunk up a little bit. I want to keep a little bit of a gap so we can get smoke all around. But bring it in. Alrighty. Actually, that one's shorter. Ooh, we gotta have asbestos fingers for this. These suckers are hot. Alright, yeah. And yeah, I think that's good. Ah, it's got some nice smoke going, those hickory. It's been a, about an hour, hour and a half. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, look at that. Yeah, beautiful smoke going. Ribs are looking beautiful. I'm going to wrap these up. I got about three hours on the smoke. Butcher wrap. Keep all that moisture in there. Kind of steam. And go right back in. One more time. Mm, these are going to be. Please be real. Yeah. Ah, cool. All right, let's open up the foil and see what we got. It is hot, hot. Basically the three two one method, which is three hours on the smoke, two hours in the foil, and then um, in the smoke again. Evil beauty. Oh yeah. Juices. Oh yeah. When this happens, you got flames coming up. Shut it down. Let's choke that off, and then we can work with it. Okay, okay. Good. All right, we're gonna live, we're gonna live dangerous. I'm not gonna burp the Kamado. Oh, yeah, right there. Because sometimes it shoots flames. Oh, all right. All right, so I'm gonna bring a little controversy to the video because mm, some people in the family like wet barbecue and some people like dry so we're gonna sauce one of these racks of ribs i lean towards dry but i will let you guess who likes wet because she is the only person i will do things i don't like to do for Give you three guesses. She's beautiful, and she's put up with my ugly butt for 30 years. So, any guesses? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. All right. So that one's good and sauced up. Excellent. Excellent. We probably got a little bit on that other rack, but that'll be alright. So we're gonna want that. I'm gonna go like that. Good and saucy. Mama. All right. Close that down. Now with the Kamado, I closed both vents. 
because I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let all the heat in the Kamado and all that smoke stay in there, all the moisture stay in there, and just kind of finish those off with that last little bit of smokiness. Um, and also the beauty of a Kamado is is that's gonna put the fire out slowly, and save our charcoal for next time. Uh, we'll see the final finished product here in a few minutes. All right, you start recording. Got it. All right, so I think we're about ready. Oh, that is sexy. Look at those. Got a nice bend to them. Bones are pulled back. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks like a taste for us. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I do have to admit that though I like dry barbecue, the wet does look really, does photograph well. All right, and there's another episode of Kamado Joe. <laughs> All right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Where am I going to put it? Bend over, I'll show you. We're going to need a big pot because there's going to be a big... Do you want to grow these inside or something? I don't know. You told me to get it for you, so I did. Yeah, I wanted it. All right, go.